Redeemer lives. The book of Matthew opens by mentioning Jesus as the son of two people. Matthew 1 verse 1 says, The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David and the son of Abraham. There are a lot of other names mentioned in the genealogy of Christ as well. You go on down through verse 17 to see that. So what's the importance of David and Abraham? First of all, as we think about Jesus Christ being the son of David, Jesus being the son of David would have reminded the Jewish reader of the promise that God made to King David some 900 to 1,000 years before Matthew was written, before Jesus walked on the face of this earth. The Lord said to King David, When your days are fulfilled and you rest with your fathers, I will set up your seed after you, who will come from your body, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commits iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the blows of the sons of men. But my mercy shall not depart from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I removed from before you. And your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you. Your throne shall be established forever. 2 Samuel 7, verse 12 through verse 16. The promised seed of David would be David's descendant and also God's own son. The genealogy of Jesus in Matthew 1 shows that he is a direct descendant of King David. And when the Jews thought about the son of David, they thought of a powerful king over God's kingdom. Matthew would go on throughout that gospel account he would demonstrate Jesus to be the mighty king over the kingdom of heaven. So that's some thoughts about Jesus as the son of David. But what about Jesus Christ being the son of Abraham? Jesus being called the son of Abraham would have reminded the Jewish reader of the promise made to Abraham some 1,800, 1,900 years before the first century. That promise made to Abraham says this, the Lord said to Abraham, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Genesis 12 verse 1 through 3. Matthew would show the Jewish reader that the promise to Abraham was ultimately pointing to Jesus Christ. The promise to Abraham was something that the Jews held dear. This was very important to them. They found their identity in this promise. So when Matthew calls Jesus the son of Abraham, he is speaking of something near and dear to the heart of the Jewish people. What Matthew did in the first verse was to hook the Jewish reader's attention by saying, Jesus is the one that you've been waiting for. He is the Messiah, the Christ. He is the son of Abraham, and he is the king. He is the son of David. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you listening to this episode of Centered on Christ. Centered on Christ is emailed as an article five days a week. Click the link in the description if you want to start receiving Centered on Christ to help with your daily Bible study.